Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we are going to be covering our Foot Champions Weekend League. Uh, this is episode number 2 of our Foot Champs Road to Glory. Uh, if you did enjoy the first video, uh, there was a few people that commented on the videos, uh, good to see. Uh, so I haven't been really active on YouTube uh, much, uh, which I'm trying to improve again because obviously I've been devoting most of my time into Twitch streaming. Uh, I'll leave a link down below for my Twitch channel and uh, Basically, I'm just going to be showing you a couple of wins uh, this episode and the next episode I've got uh, a few more games to show because obviously I stream most of them so I couldn't actually record at the same time. Uh, so this is a, one of the first games. Uh, obviously, before I do get into it, uh, I'm just going to be commentating over it kind of, just talking about different different like different things uh, that's been happening with this like uh, account, I guess. Not really serious because it's only really just started, but... Uh, before I get uh, into it, please leave a like on the video. Uh, also, comment down below your opinions on the episode and the games that we do show you today. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'll be posting up a lot more content, uh, career mode, uh, obviously the Road to Foot Champs Glory, and also I'm going to try and do some like squad builders. And I want to try and get some Chelsea type of videos. Obviously, I don't have. There's a few Chelsea fans that follow me and stuff. I want to try and grow a little community of different. Of just like a general FIFA community and like football community in general. So, uh, without further ado, I'm just gonna go over my weekend of that's just gone the weekend league. So, uh, a few games here. Uh, this game uh, I dominated throughout the whole game, uh, four nil, and then he, he just got off a couple of goals late on, which didn't really affect me. Uh, I think when it got to the ninth minute and he scored, I, I wasn't too bothered about it because. Uh, uh, like I said, I did dominate this game. Uh, this is one of, one of the earlier games that I played. Uh, I think it's one of the first first five games I had on the weekend league. Because obviously, like I said, I couldn't record every game because uh, I was streaming. But um, <clears throat> this game, I this this kid had a very good strong team. He has meta players as you always see in uh, FIFA. It was uh, uh, most most players like like Alba, Boateng, you know, players like that. Uh, Alessandrini as well so uh, we do in fact take a 1-0 lead with Wayne Rooney uh, this foot birthday card's really good uh, I really enjoy using him I think he, I think he's a really really good card you know uh, I, st I picked him up for I don't even know how much I spent on the SBC because obviously you have to do the weekly objectives to get the uh, to get the uh, St. Patrick's Day card so uh, I did four of those. I've still got one more to do actually, because I'm going to try and get the Schweinsteiger card. Because uh, you only need to trade him just one St. Patrick's Day card for the card. So, I mean, it's fairly, fairly. You may as well, because Schweinsteiger is quite a high rated card. So, um, there's that to do. So, basically, Foot Birthday Rooney card, probably one of the best cards I've used this FIFA so far. Obviously, I do have. I haven't used many. I haven't been able to use many cards. Like, I, I did take a big break from FIFA in terms of Ultimate Team. So,. Uh, I think uh, for now, Rooney, apart from Player of the Month, Mane, probably the best card I've used in uh, FIFA. Uh, I really, really enjoy using him. Uh, he's just very strong. He's actually very quick for the card that he upgraded. He's got like 90 pace, I think, for it, on this card. Uh, he's a really, really good finisher. His composure's like 95 or something like that. So it doesn't matter where he is in the park. He, he's always going to be composed in his passing uh, and his mainly his finishing. Uh, I think the only games I've played is Foot Champions and legendary squad battle games and his goal to game ratio and assist ratio is very very high and yeah i think i would recommend i um, the foot birthday is still out uh the spc uh, i'd highly recommend getting him because he is honestly a really really good player as you can see he's picked up the ball here uh mane won the ball back very well just it's just simple simple finish low driven into the bottom corner uh I, it, like it was really really nice finish to be fair uh this game, we, we pretty much dominated it. it I, I did get a little bit uh, worried when he pulled it back to 3-2 because uh, it was getting towards like uh, the kind of like mid-stage of the game uh, and I, I was just a bit a bit unsure uh, if he was going to come back and score again. Uh, I found quite a lot over the weekend. As you can see, Gretz scores, Gretzka scores a nice header. Uh, over the weekend league, I do find like myself conceding goals and then scoring straight away. Uh, to make it like to draw tie the game up but i also seem to uh if i score goals 
the opponent does that a lot to me as well when he scores straight after I score. So that is something I need to work on. I need to work on my defending skills. I need to work on just like keeping a win. When I've got a win, I need to keep it and add to it. Uh, I find that I struggle to do that in some games, especially in the games where I know the opponent is very good. Because uh, a lot of the times in the weekend league this weekend, uh, there were games where I knew the opponent was very good and I, I kept up with them, but it's just stupid errors. Oh, it's the gameplay as well. The gameplay is not great. Uh, I didn't struggle at all Friday and Saturday and most of Sunday afternoon, but when it got to like 10 games left, when I could have got gold one, uh, I literally crumbled and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't, couldn't get the job done. So... Uh, with that that game that we just gone, we we demolished the kid. To be honest, uh, he gave away like I think he gave away two penalties in that game. Uh, we move on to this next game. Uh, this kid did actually take a uh, a one 0 lead in this with uh, Laurent Blanc. Uh, I don't know which icon edition that was because I didn't get to I didn't capture the team uh, before the uh, game started. I think it's the base icon one. Uh, but we we do draw it back. Mane uh, is. <laughs> God, Mane is really, really good at this. Uh, cutting inside and doing the finesse shot. Uh, so I, if anyone has Mane in their team, I'd highly recommend doing that. Uh, there was a lot of goals in this first half. Uh, as you can see here, we, we attempted to get rid of it. And it just it just bobbled everywhere. I don't know how that's gone in with Vieira. I, I, I see it's stuff like that where you just don't really want to be playing the game when stuff like that is happening to you because, uh, I don't know... It just re it just really is bad, isn't it? Like it's not the way. It's only the way that Bakayoko's headed it out, and he's he's still not got the ball clear. Like look at that, he cleared it, but he's gone across goal, and somehow I didn't tackle him with company or Alonso. So, I mean, it is what it is. I I conceded a lot of, I guess BS goals, and I scored uh, a few BS goals as well. So, it kind of evened out throughout the weekend league, but at the times where I didn't want it to happen. Uh, Rooney here, nice little low driven shot into the bottom corner. Again, like I said, Rooney, probably the standout player of the weekend league this weekend, apart from Willian and Mane, obviously. Uh, the path to glory, Willian, is very, very good. Uh, as you can see, he just scored a goal there. Pulled it back to now make it 3-2 after Rooney scoring. Uh, from here, we, we did it right. We brought on Goretzka. That mainly throughout this weekend league, I had about uh, three, obviously you have three subs, so I had about three different uh, substitutes I wanted to do, Mo like I mostly did throughout the weekend league. I take back Yoko off for Goretzka, uh, and then I take Gundo off for Martial, put Martial onto the left side of centre mid, put Goretzka in down the middle, and have Kante on the other side. Uh, and when it would get to like the later stages or extra time, I take Kante off because his stamina w would go. It 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 was quite low for, uh, compared to like my front three. What I do, I take Kante off, put Rooney in centre mid, and put Vardy up top. Uh, it seemed to work very well having Rooney in centre mid. Uh, as you can see, Rooney scores another penalty. He's, I think he scored about three or four, you know, uh, throughout the entire weekend league in terms of penalties. But yeah, those are the subs that I kind of wanted to make. I ended up packing Goretz. I only had Goretzka Goretzka's AE2 rated card, uh, and I ended up packing him in uh, in I can't remember what pack it was. Uh, I think it was like a hundred K pack. Uh, I packed Goretzka's upgraded card. It's like 83 rated now. So he goes. He I swapped them out, put him into the squad. Uh, Goretzka's one of those players. He's one of those players that most people would use. Obviously, most people have like their the, his informed versions or anything like that. But um. Uh, I just had the plain base card, and uh, he's really good. He's really good to come on for like uh, I don't know, but half an hour left of a game, uh, forty minutes or so. Uh, he, he's a really good impact player, and I, I I I don't know. I'd recommend him for most people, uh, definitely, because uh, he he does make a good impact on on the team, especially when players like Bakayoko and Gundo. Gundo uh, um, are tired like near, like towards the heart I tried to make my subs around the 60th to 70th minute uh, I tried to make at least I tried to spread them across as well I don't like spamming my subs as well which is kind of annoying as you can see here Rooney lovely finish from Wayne Rooney the kid literally just scored and we go up the other end with a kickoff goal kickoff boost I don't know if you want to call it like that 
Uh, I think it's still in the game, to be honest. And uh, yeah, we do we do take a uh, take a draw out of the first half. Uh, he presses on with Dybala. It's a really nice finish, to be fair to him. Uh, I couldn't really do much. Courtois for me was very very inconsistent this weekend. Uh, I really really don't. I don't know what to do. I kind of need to save. I, I might have to save up for De Gea or see what my rewards are like and get De Gea in because at the moment it's he Courtois very inconsistent. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, Gundogan got in here, lovely finish. I didn't. I wasn't expecting him to score. If I'm being totally honest. Uh, which was great. So, um, pulled it back to 3 3. Moving on into the later stages in extra time. Uh, he's got the ball on the edge of the box. Goretzka, uh, as like I said, comes on the field, does well. And also, Vardy's just come on, uh, bombing it away. I think I square this to Willy, uh, not Mane. Uh, no, not Willian, sorry, to Mane. But the keeper comes out, pushes it out. And uh, yeah, Willian does uh, get the ball in there. Uh, we're four three up. I, this get from it from this point on. I think we get another. I think get one or two goals. Uh, from that Willian goal, Vardy gets a goal for himself. So that's gonna wrap the video up, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Also, let me know down in the comment section below how I can improve these videos. If you want to see me play my squad battles games or anything like that. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys next time.